Hi, I'm Mark. Um, first of all, any team news, um, aside from suspensions, any new injuries, any, any doubts? Um, just um, the old situation with Niskin Skabano, Tom Carney as well will be, will be out, like um, Levin Kurzawa will be the three players that will be out with injured, and uh, plus John, John Pellini. Um, Pellini after the suspension, how big a miss is that going to be for you? And he's been really important for us, of course, and of course when you um, cannot start with a player that is, is important for us, of course, it's a big miss, but at the same time, I see the situation and, um, as a solution for the other to come in and to pop up. This is, is clear for him. will be a different profile, different, different profile, the player that is going to play there in that position, but for sure um, he's going to show his quality and will be a good, a good chance for him to... Um, to perform at uh, his best level. But whoever comes in, you say, will be a different profile. Does that mean that you have to perhaps change your approach as well? No, 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 not at all. Our approach will be the same. Uh, just will be a different, a different player there. But our approach and what we, we demand from that position will be the same. Uh, we look at um, Solomon, who scored in the last four matches. Three of those were coming off the bench, and of course he started the other day. Is he difficult to leave out now, given the form, form he's on? Has he played his way into a start? No, he's, he's been really, really important for us. He's been the decisive player last last few weeks. Um, but uh, is what I, I'm always saying. Um, he's been so important for us, like he's been uh, William, that is playing in that position as well. Like he's been Bobby, he's been so, so important for us as well. And the other two that they are waiting for the chance, like Harry Wilson and, and and, and DJ, Daniel James. For me, it's clear the situation. I understand the question, make all the sense about the goals and the so great finish that is um, last one again. But um, it's, it's really important for us. But I have to repeat the other two that they have been doing so well in that position. Of course, he's, he's here on loan at the moment. What is the situation there? He's playing so well. He, are there moves being made? Are there talks being. Being had about as I said last last week, the, the same of course uh, was a long process for him to sign with us. <coughs> at that moment it was uh, one of the, the first targets for me, one of the, the first players that I put on the table to for our board to do their best to sign with him. Of course, with all that situation with Shakhtar and that situation take took a little bit more longer than uh, we like. At the end, we signed him on loan, and now you have to to wait the right moment to to speak with him, to sit with him again. And see what will be the the decision. It's not something that is our focus right now. Of course, it's not it's not for me and it's not for Manor to take care of the situation. Um, we are focused on the next game and the, the, to take the best from him. And he's really focused in his role in this football club. And let's see what will be the future. Um, just, you talk about focusing on the next game. Obviously, Brentford coming up. They're in absolutely fantastic form themselves. Eleven unbeaten mm -hmm. in the in the league. When, when you played them earlier in the season, that was a, a tight game. Did you expect them to be putting up this sort of challenge across the whole season? Yeah, uh, well, well, it was a very good game in my opinion. That first game, it was a very good one, um, a proper derby, if I can say. Um, a fantastic start from ourselves. Great reaction from them and late goal um, that gave us the three points. Um, they have been really consistent. Um, they they are really solid team. They are compact as well. They they can be. Um, they have some players in the attack line. They can be a threat for any team in this competition. But at the same time, they are solid. They are compact. They are strong in the duels as well. I think will be a really tough one. I think will be a, a proper derby again. Um, you are going to face a team in a very good form, as you said, and beaten last eleven games in, in Premier League. I think the numbers they speak for themselves, but. Uh, they know as well that they are going to face a, a strong full side, a team that is going there to fight for the three points. And you used the phrase a couple of times there, a, a proper derby. We've heard other managers say before, particularly of London clubs, saying there are so many derbies with London clubs and it actually makes it harder for London clubs across the season. Do you see it that way? There are so many rivalries and so many things. You can feel it. You can feel so many clubs here around, of course. Uh, with, some, with some, you can feel that they are a little slight special, of course, with our neighbours is a little bit different, of course, with Brentford the last few seasons uh, is, is, a, is a match that is growing in terms of the rivalry and in that, tip, in that type of situation. But of course, when you have so many games in this city, of course, it's always, you feel something's different. But I have to say that some of them, they are different and the last few games, this rivalry between uh, Fulham and Brentford growed a little bit more than than in the past, and of course, will be a special one. And do you personally get a buzz off those of those matches? No, it's always good. I have to say, the players they enjoy it. We 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 all enjoy to play in a good environment, in a 
I, I like the intense games. I like this type of games. Everyone is uh, is with full focus in the game. The environment around is is good. I think it's a, it's something. It is important, definitely, um, for for both football clubs, for the the fun base as well. But uh, at the same time, we we have to prepare well and the best we can ourselves. And at that moment, after enjoy the game, enjoy enjoy what the game is giving you, and of course. Prepare your players as best you can for them to enjoy, but enjoy it working hard, of course. Thank you. James. Marco, um, so you're just talking about Brentford there. Can I ask you a little bit about Thomas Frank and the job that he's done and, and what you think about the way his team plays? No, he's doing a very good job. I think he's uh, the, the way they, of course, after some seasons fighting to, to, to be promoted and finally they, they got it. Um, very good season last season. Um, growing during the season, finishing a good spot, and you can feel it that this season they are um, reaching different standards as well. They they keep the, the same consistency. You can feel it. They are, as I said before, they are solid. They are compact, but they they, they can keep that consistency. And at same t and at the other times they can be really ruthless in the attack line as well. They are a good side with a very good job from them, Thomas. Um, we spoke a bit about Matt Manus Salomon, Sol Solomon, I should say, mm -hmm. um, and the job that he's been doing the last two games. Obviously, two great goals that he scored. Um, how important is his role in the team now in terms of taking that pressure off um, Alex Mitrovic as well in terms of the goal scoring? Last four games, not just last two. I have to say, even before that, the game against Sunderland at home to the FA Cup it was his first debut of the season. Uh, his debut of the season as a starting eleven player, and he did really well. Um, that Sunderland uh, match and of course all the other matches when he, he scored the first goal um, against Forest and of course after the uh, the three goals in in a row that he scored it's, it's been really important for us decisive decisive coming from the bench um, last game uh, from the from the start as well and the, it's really important it's really important first of all for him um, to get in a very good form and to and can assist, can score, and um, always difficult for the, the, the players that they, they are going to face him. And of course, for us as a team, when you have a, this type of players in a so very good moment, is, is really important. From the start, from the bench, always ready to help the team, and everything what one manager wants. The mood in the dressing room and on the training field must have been really positive this week after the FA Cup um, victory. Um, how much is that going to help as well? I mean, the league form has been fantastic for Fulham. Um, you guys, you know, flying high at the moment. But that must be another big boost heading into this game as well. No, it's been a very good, not just week. Uh, it was a very good month for, um, for us, the, the February month. I have to say that our start from the last World Cup break is being outstanding. Um, of course, with more things, some things to improve always. The way we should have controlled some games. Last game is a good example that we started against Wolves. Probably we should have started in a, in a different way, definitely. But we, we have been doing really, really well. And of course, after you are getting good results uh, as well. And uh, as you expect and everyone expect, the mood is, is really good. Everything what we want as a, as a football club, player and the football club is to get good results, for the players to feel more confident, to to really believe that the way we prepare themselves and the way that we are working make any sense, make the sense to win football matches to get the points is everything what we want, of course, and because that the mood is, as you expect, is really good. And just lastly for me, Palinia obviously is a bit of a miss uh, for the next two games, but will that change your the way you, you set up at all or will someone else slot in and, and be expected to do no, it? No, it's not going to, to change, no. no, no, not at all. We have uh, an idea, of course, we have different strategies if you have to, to use, but not specific in, because João is not going to start uh, the game. Another one will pop, pop up, another one will start the game in that position and for sure he's going to play well. Hello Marco, um, who is that player going to be? Could it be Lukic who plays in that position? No. As you know, you have two solutions for that position, or Harrison Reed, that is a, is a natural position for him, as, as you know, even last time he started on the bench. And when I I made the change, and when uh, João came off, I was was Harrison Reed came when he came in and he played last ten minutes probably the last game against Leeds in that role in sixth uh, role position and will be between Harrison Reed and Lukic. Yes. The win at home against Brentford was your first win as a full manager in the Premier League. 
Do you remember that feeling? Do you remember feeling afterwards maybe a sense of confidence, a sense of belief? I didn't. I didn't remember that was the first one. Yes, was the, uh, what I know that was the third, third game of the season, of course, after the Liverpool match uh, at home and the, the Wolves away match. It was a good, a good game, it was a, a proper derby, as I said before. Um, two strong sides, very good reaction from them after a, a, a fantastic start from ourselves. Uh, and it was a good one, okay, it was the, the, our first win in that, in that period, it was an important one. And let's hope we can, we can keep this, this feeling against them and can, we can win the game. Did you believe even then that Fulham were going to have such a good season? Did you think even then we're not going to be fighting relegation this time? I, I, it's difficult. In that moment, of course, if you ask me in that moment, if I was thinking what will be the... Um, our future in three or four months' time, I, it was not important. If you ask me now what will be our future in two months' time, it will not be important for us. Of course, the feeling in that moment was clear, even before the game, that we started the season like we wanted. Um, that first game was important for us as a statement and we, we, we did it. Um, going to play away from home against Wolves and, and coming just with one point, but uh, with a clean sheet was another good feeling, even if you miss a penalty in that, in that game. And of course, after the third game of the season, we got the three points in a proper derby. It was a good start from ourselves. If it will be a sign that we are not going to fight or you are going to fight in that moment, I was not thinking on that. I think Paulinho scored and took his shirt off in that game. He scored the other night in the cup and didn't take his shirt off. Have you told him not to take his shirt off anymore when he scores? <laughs> no, it's important for him to... Um, the emotion of the players is really important. Uh, it's something that we... We as a football people don't want to take from them. That is emotion, the passion when they... they they celebrate something, but at the same time they have to understand the, the rules. And of course, if you can control these type of situations, it will be always a good help because we, uh, we'll take some, uh, some cards from you. It's going to be a new ground for, for you, a, a new ground for some of the fans as well. It would mean a huge amount to them to do the double over Brentford. Yes, will be for sure will be a, a, a very good atmosphere in that same environment. will be a, a derby environment, in my opinion, will be... Of course, the, their fan base, they will be behind their team, for sure. And our fans, they will be there. We are going to feel them 100% sure, like we, we felt a lot. always when we play uh, away from home this season. Very good example, the, the game against Brighton. All they, they supported the team from the first until the last minutes and uh, minutes of the match, uh, and how, how they celebrated with the team, and we want to, to, to feel the same. Um. Fulham and Brentford are two of the teams that score most of their goals from set pieces. I just wonder how much work you do on set pieces, both offensively and defensively. We, we, we work really hard on that. It's, it's in, there are important moments in the game. They can be decisive today in football, that, that type of, of situations as well. And it's something that we, we work on. Definitely, we know that we are going to face a, a team that they are really strong in this type of moments. The, the long throws as well. They are. A, they are one, one team that specifically in that situation they are, they are strong as well, but they know at the same time they are to, that they are going to face a team that prepare well that, that type of situations and uh, can, can punish them as well. I think it will be, because that I said, I think it will be a, a proper derby, a good fight between both teams in, that can punish each other in, in many ways. And finally for me, sorry, a question on the FA Cup. I don't know if we've heard your reaction to the fact you've got to... Go to Manchester United next. In the we are going to have time to talk about it, but okay, was was the rule? We are really pleased the, because we got the quarters final. We we deserve it, and we we are there. And the right moment, we are going to talk about the Man United game. But of course, if you want to to be there, if you want to play quarters final of the FA Cup, and you have to be able and to be ready to to play against any team in this competition. And there was the draw, and for sure, in the right moment, we are going to prepare ourselves to go there for the that I feel kept time.